Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my NARS blushes. As you can see, I have quite a few, so let's just start. The first one I have is in Sex Appeal, which is just a soft beach, and it's exactly what it is. It is white base, so I would say if you have like medium to darker skin tone, maybe stay away because it could look a little bit too ashy. Like it is really white base. I am wearing it on the apple of my cheeks today just to try and match with my lipstick. But as you can see, it is probably the most chalky of the bunch. But I really like wearing it either at the apple of my cheeks when I have more of a tan or all over my cheeks during like middle of uh, winter just because if you have really fair skin, it won't be too much and it's just a beautiful matte shade. I really need to wear this more often because it just gives you a little bit of a color that I really enjoy. Luster is described as a sheer wash of golden uh, apricot color and basically in the pan it doesn't look like much. Again, I'm wearing this all over my cheeks. It just gives you a beautiful like bronzy peachy looks which obviously on the golden uh, side and it's just a beautiful shade that I neglect way too much. During summer when you have a tan, it just gives you a little bit of a tan plus a little bit on the peachy side. It's just a beautiful color, super pigmented, so I have to be a little bit careful with it. But it just gives you a beautiful color. Next we have Madly, which basically is one of those blushes that looks like nothing in the pan, but on your cheeks, it just gives you a beautiful, again, bronzy look, more on the uh, mauve side, which is beautiful. Again, if you have a tan, it just looks beautiful. As you can see, it's not it's not as orange as uh, Luster, but so if you enjoy like really natural nudie blush, this is a perfect shade, especially if you have a cooler skin tone. I know I, st I used to stay really away from like uh, orangey shades, but this is something you have to try. It is one of the blushes that I highly recommend. Even though it looks like nothing, on your cheeks, it looks perfect. Luster has a little bit more of shimmers. This one is more of like glow. It doesn't have, like in a pan, it kind of looks like it has a little bit of shimmer, but on your face, it really doesn't transfer. So if you have the chance to swatch a blush, try uh, Madly by NARS. This one, Deep Throat, is my all-time favorite of all of them. It's just the perfect shade. As you can see, like the packaging is so dirty because that's what happens when you start wearing a lot of an hour's blush. So as you can see, it's just a beautiful like pinky side, a pinky golden uh, coral shade. It's so hard to explain. It's just a beautiful like mix of everything. And as you can see, it looks somewhat pink, but on your cheeks, it has a little bit of a golden shade and it's the perfect like coral shade for me. I feel like orgasm sometimes it looks a little bit too red on me or doesn't show up as well. So I really recommend trying Deep Throat. It's just my favorite of all of them because it just gives you a effortless like glowy cheeks. It's super blendable. It just goes on super easily and I just reached for this blush all the time. Then Orgasm, I have it in the Denmary palette. It came out like two or three winter ago. So as you can see, you can try to cover the mirror. So this is the color Orgasm, beautiful reddish golden uh, shade, corally side. It's just beautiful shade. It has a golden sheen. So if you don't like shimmer, stay away because there's a lot, but it just give you beautiful like glowy cheeks. And as you can see compared to uh, Deep Troke, it is more on the reddish golden side. It is a call favorite for really good reason. It just gives you a beautiful, like, curly cheek, perfect. Perfect during summer when you have a, a tan, it just gives you a really glowy look. Then, then we have a Super Orgasm, which is just right there. It is a peachy pink with a lot of glitter, gold glitter inside of it. This is not my favorite because it has so much glitter that it can be, like, it can be a lot. If you tap root brushes before applying it, you might lose a little bit of the glitter, which is a lot better. But it is still a beautiful shade. As you can see, it is more on the uh, mauve shade compared to uh, Orgasm. If it wasn't for the glitter, I would wear this a lot more for sure. But it is a beautiful shade nonetheless. Just that the shimmer can be a lot sometimes. Next one is in the shade Amour, which is 
beautiful matte reddish shade. It is described on the NARS website as a peachy pink, which it's not. It's a beautiful like mauvey reddish shade, which almost looks like you have a sunburn when you wear it, which is beautiful during summer once again. As you can see, it's more of a mauvey red shade. It is matte, it is super blendable, super pigmented, so if you have like fair skin, be really careful with it, but if you have like deeper skin tone, this will look beautiful on your skin. I tend to neglect it a little bit because it is so pigmented that I have to be super careful. Plus, I need to have the tent to be able to really pull it off or at least feel comfortable wearing it. And during summer, sometimes like this summer, there's no sun, so it's pretty hard to get a tan. But if you have tan to deep skin tone, you will love ammo, which is just beautiful. Next one I have is in Lovejoy, which is described as a bronzy rose shade. But as you can see, it is pretty deep brown. But it does give you a beautiful shade, again, a little bit on the mauve side, which if you have a tan, it just gives you a little bit more. Sometimes, sometimes I use this uh, instead of wearing bronzer and blush, I just wear this and just give me a tan look. Next one I have Dusa, which is another of my favorite one. It is a beautiful, like, again, looks like nothing in the pan. It looks like a mauve uh, brown shade. It is a matte and it blends super easily. It doesn't go on as pigmented, so it gives me a chance to be Wearing it, it is a lighter version pretty much of Amour, a little bit more on the mauve side. I just adore this blush, either during fall and winter especially, because it is the perfect shade to just wear it like a nude blush and just uh, let your bright lip or bold lip uh, just really stand out. Then I have the shade Sin, which is a beautiful like mauve with uh, some a uh, some golden uh, shimmer in it. Again, it's more of a sheen on your cheeks. As you can see, it is the only mauve shade like that that I have and it's just beautiful during fall and winter once again. If you're wearing like a purple lip and you want something that looks similar but doesn't like clash with it, color Sin would be perfect for this. It has a golden shimmer, like sheen to it, but it really doesn't transfer that much on my cheeks. I need to wear this a lot more this fall and winter. Then pinks. I have quite a few and although they do look similar when you look at them quickly, they're not the same color, I swear, and you will be able to see in the swatches. So the first one I have is in Angelica, which is a beautiful like mauve uh, pink and I believe it's the only one in the bunch that has a silver cool tone uh, shimmer. So if you don't like uh, warm and golden shimmer, Angelica would be for you beautiful during like spring and winter. It is a shimmery mauve shade as you can see but it does come off on my cheek a lot warmer than it looks in the pan. Like it looks more mauve in the pan and on my skin, it looks a little bit more on the bright pink. Once again, if you tap your uh, brush before applying it, a lot of the shimmer will come off so it won't look as intense. The shimmer in this one are not overwhelming as much as like super orgasm, which is like glitter. This is more of a shimmer, so it's more natural. Well, as natural as glitter can look on your cheeks. Next one I have, I'm going to try not to butcher the name, it is Mata Eri. Just correct me if I say it wrong, probably. But as you can see, a beautiful moth thing. It is one of my favorite of the pinks. And it just looks stunning. It is a matte, so if you don't like shimmer, you will love this one. It looks, wow, that's awkward. So as you can see, it is a beautiful moth shade. It is stunning again during fall and winter. If you don't think you can pull off like purple cheeks, this is a beautiful like step into it. It is super pigmented, but it, you can easily share it out and just wear a little bit of color on your cheeks. Stunning color, I highly recommend it. Then I have the color Gay, which is a bright bubblegum pink. It is so fun, so crazy when you look at it. It's like, I'm not wearing this, but you need to. If like in the middle of winter or even the spring when you feel like tired and you don't know what to wear because you want something that's just gonna bright right out your complexion, it makes you look awake and not so tired. This is the perfect shade for you. It's gonna look a little crazy, as you can see, it is white based, so you have to be careful, sometimes it might look a little bit too, uh, too white for you. But as you can see, you can easily blend it out and it's gonna look just the perfect like, bright pink cheeks without being too much. And I love wearing this, like I said, when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup and I just wanna look awake and 
alive. This is the perfect blush for this. And as you can see, it is not the same color as the other one. It is more on the pale bright pink. Almost forgot to mention it is a matte, so if you don't like shimmer, Katie might be the perfect shade for you. The last pink one I have is in Desire, which is a hot pink, like bright hot pink. Once again, a matte, so if you don't like shimmer, this is the perfect shade for you. And as you can see, just a bright bubblegum pink. I'm gonna try to make it show. So as you can see, so as you can see, it is clearly more a hot pink than the color desired, or even more like a uh, hot pink and less mauve than the color in, uh, Angelica. Next, I have two blushes. I don't know if they're uh, discontinuing them because I can't seem to find them online, but the first one I have is a beautiful nude shade, and it is just super easy everyday type shade. It is pretty much a nude shade, which is super easy to wear on a daily basis. I have to wear this more often because it is super easy, beautiful nude shade. A little bit on the mauve side too, so I should be able to wear this a lot more. The other one I have is a dark, vampy, red, mauve shade, which I don't wear enough whatsoever. I need to because it is like a beautiful like wine shade, a little bit more on the brown side, which will look perfect during fall, so I really need to like, even summer if I could finally get a tan, this would look beautiful, so I highly recommend it if you have like tan skin, that would look beautiful on you, so Lacombe is a beautiful shade that I need to wear more often. I just don't tend to reach for cream blushes. I have to fix that. And finally, I'm just gonna mention the uh, highlighter that I have because they're considered blushed. At least they're in the blush section on the website, so. First one I have is in Nico, which is a beautiful natural glow. Like, it almost looks like nothing. It looks like pretty much like face powder, but there's a slight like sheen to it that is super natural. It is a super natural shade, so if you don't like highlighter, this might be a shade for you. It is beautiful, super natural. I don't think I would repurchase this just because it's so natural of a highlight that I like something that is going to be a little bit more dramatic. So I don't reach for it really often, but when I want to pretend that I'm not wearing makeup, this is a beautiful shade for that. So Nico is a beautiful, like, natural uh, highlighter. The last one I have is from the Hungry Heart Duo. This is the shade number two. As you can see, a golden shade. It is a really natural like uh, shade. There's no like crazy shimmer. Again, it's more of a glowy uh, highlight than like Albatross, for example. As you can see, it looks a lot more yellow. This one looks more like a Nico looks more of a natural like skin tone uh, pinky shade, and uh, Hungry Heart Duo and number two is more of a yellow shade. So depending which ones you would prefer, just pick that one. Both don't have any shimmer. It's really a natural, like, lighter shade that you would wear on your cheeks. So those are all the uh, NARS blushes that I have. I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you could choose just one blush of NARS, which one would you pick? And which one do you think I need, even though I probably need no more blushes forever? Which one do you recommend for me? So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like Swatch's videos. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.